1, 12, 2, 11, 3, 10, 4, 9, 5, 6, 7. It's not exactly music to your ears. It sounds really strange when you hear it. It doesn't sound like your typical Bach and Beethoven style music. And even those playing have a hard time placing it. Some of it sound kind of sneaky and weird. Some of them sounded like haunted house music, and some of them sounded like music that I would probably play. Perhaps this is what happens when you arm math and science whizzes with musical instruments in an exercise with a purpose. It has a very mathematical basis and that you have these strings of notes that never repeat. Tone rows is a style of music that was invented in the 20th century. It's very mathematical in its nature. This is one of many exercises for students involved in the university's Mars or Math and Related Sciences camp for high school and middle school students. The focus is really to bring in a bunch of kids who are talented in math and science, um, give them a chance to hang out and be around other kids who are like themselves. The goal is for students to better understand the role of mathematics and science in society and to become better problem solvers. Students involved say they don't understand why more kids aren't into math and science. I, I'm amazed. I'm like, how is it boring? I just like it more than all the other subjects. I have more interest in it. Um, I just like how it works. I like the science part because you get to use chemicals in it. My mom. Um, she went to school a lot, so everywhere she went, I went, and I think math and science is really interesting. Atkinson says the tone row exercise is a typical one for Mars, giving students a new perspective on their school subjects, capturing their interests with courses like Computers from Inside Out, Classical Cryptanalysis, the Science of Code Breaking, and Digital Logic and Robotics. And then try and teach them sort of the cool side of math and science. It's not supposed to be sort of seventh grade all over again. It's supposed to be sort of something that you might not see during the normal school year, but is still math related and still um, interesting to so get people's attention. And while this music will get people's attention, so too will the knowledge of these campers. For Discover UMES, I'm Jason Newton.